Hi folks, uh, Nella here with a few updates about Nagisa and Nagisa's look. Um, uh, actually, update number one. I have decided on which gender neutral pronouns Nagisa prefers. Um, and those are the A pronouns. So, um, A instead of she ear instead of wait, wait sorry air instead of her hers and M instead of her. Yes, that's right. Um though that is too confusing for you as I am still getting used to using those pronouns. Um Nagisa is also perfectly fine with female pronouns. Um, it's just never, ever, ever use male pronouns. <laughs> I don't know what will happen if you do. Anyway, um, that is not the reason for this update. The reason for this update is I have done some more sketches of, uh, <coughs> the planned face-up. And I did a new mock-up. Oops, there we go. Did a new mock-up. And I know you can't see this again. I have my I have my blind open, so I have natural light, and I don't have the electricity going as much. Um, but the problem is, it kind of washes everything out. Anyway, um, so the eyebrows are not on so much of a slant anymore. Um, so it's more of a neutral expression. Um, I redid the eyeliner so it has more of a wing, and you can't really see it, but I also made the eyelashes, um, I just increased the number of eyelashes. There's also, oops, other side, there's also, oops, a little upturn that I drew in on the side of, <coughs> the side of the mouth, uh, just so that... It doesn't have, you know, a angry or neutral expression. Instead, it's a smiling, pleased expression. And um, these are actually wait. This is actually my original sketch. Um, but even though it says "not goth" all in caps, um, this is still way too gothic for. For um, for M, <coughs> it just really is. And as much as I like the idea of having like the ice cracks, um, I'm thinking I'm going to end up doing them in gloss with a lot of like uh, what is it? a lot of uh, sparkly powder stuff, um, so that it'll look like. Um, it'll look like the face is blank until it catches the light and you see this, all these cool shimmery, sparkly effects on the face. Um, and I actually have a few sketches I did up of the eyeliner a bit better. You probably can't tell, but there is white eyeshadow, um, that goes around the eyes. But it's, it's really hard to make white eyeshadow show up on camera. Who would have thunk it? <coughs> and the second part of this video is I found some stuff for uh, drafting patterns, figuring out how to do some of Nagisa's outfits. Um, because as much as this dress is adorable, um, it keeps flashing me. Um, because it ends high thigh on her, sorry, on, <coughs> on M, and um, even the shorts aren't really helping. It, it does not help that usually Nagisa is kind of just chilling and angle, and the skirt rises up. It's really not good. Um, so I have to lengthen that pattern. 
Um, but speaking of paddings, um, I went down to our basement and went looking through our padding stash. And I guess my sister had culled the paddings as well, which I didn't realize. Um, because I remembered it being like three full drawers worth of patterns, and now there is only one. Um, which is fine. I mean, really, even though there's multiple people in the family who sew, we don't actually use that many of the patterns. Um, we have a whole bunch because we get them on sale. Um, but a lot of them, you know, like, you have your ones that you know work. Um, and you don't really experiment that much. Um, so I was thinking that there was going to be like five patterns that I'd be able to find for Nagisa. Um, instead, there were two, which is fine. These is actually the two that I really cared about. Uh, first one up, is this one. Um, this is actually, these are actually patterns for a doll. Um, it's for the Ideal Velvet and Chrissy. Okay, you guys probably don't know who those are. Anyway, um, <laughs> Velvet and Chrissy from Ideal, which is an American company, or was, I think they don't exist anymore, um, were two dolls from a large line of dolls that were produced in the 60s and 70s. Um, this pen is from 1970, and they had this really cool gimmick, um, where there's a knob on their backs that you, uh, you turned it, and the hair would actually lengthen, because there was, like, so they'd have, like, a ponytail sort of thing, um, and the later ones didn't even have the ponytail, they had a different mechanism, um, and the ponytail would, like, grow, when you turn the knob, and then when you want to shorten it, you just turn the knob back, and the doll had short hair again. Um, which is a really cool gimmick. I've seen the doll in person, and wasn't super impressed, um, but they have absolutely gorgeous box set. And as you can see, really cool outfits! Um, so I'm going to have to change the width on these, um, but the length should actually all be good, which is nice. Um, also, <laughs> there's a little story behind how I got this pattern. Um, I got this for free. I had gone to a antiques vintage collectibles store with my granny, and I was talking with the owner, and I had one of my dolls with me, and I was, you know, I mentioned I like dolls, so he was showing me, like, the antique dolls that they had. Um, I actually, like, identified one of the dolls, and he's like, yeah, you know, and he's like, yeah, have you seen this sort of doll before? And I go, oh, yeah, no, that's a composition doll, that's from the, I went, yeah, that one's probably from the 30s, I went, like, you know, just be careful to keep it in, like, a moisture and heat-controlled environment, um, I went, oh, else that, like, cracking and stuff that you see is just going to worsen, and the value plummets as it worsens, etc., 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 um, and what he did was he picked this up off of a shelf somewhere and went, here, have this. <laughs> um, so it was a neat little free gift. Other patterns from the 70s. This is actually one I was very happy to see that we still had because I've been planning on making some of these outfits for myself. <laughs> um, but they are also going to be perfect for Nagisa, my ice sprite who wears summer clothing. Oh well, it means I have to use less fabric, which is always nice. Saving fabric is always nice. Um, this pattern is from 1973, so it is a good five years after the style that Nagisa usually wears. Um, but I find there's still some overlap and crossover, especially since I believe- no, this is printed in the U.S. It's about to say, if it's from Canada, we usually were a few years behind, um, anyway. <laughs> the 80s lasted into the early 90s for us. 
you have no idea the horror that we saw. Actually, neither would I. I was a kid. <laughs> and then last one is actually a pattern that I do have an outfit that was made from this. I have... Oops, I'm sorry. The made. There we go. Nope. There. There. This little green um, outfit. Uh, my sister made in white for her first PGD before she even arrived, and it doesn't fit any of our BGDs. Uh, we still have it, and we still try it on every doll <laughs> um, that basically we get our hands on, um, and it just hasn't worked out yet. <laughs> um, the measurement for the bust is too flat um, and isn't wide enough. Uh, for most BGD girls, they're minis, which is what the size fits. Um, and then I had tried it on one of my very slim bodies, um, but the problem there was the chest fit fine. But it was falling off of the hips and waist. Um, but I think with some modifications, that could also be readily used. So that's nice. There's a couple of those that would probably go and work out. And with that happy note, we leave you. Bye. Have a good day.